This is your host, and I've got a special guest today that I've been waiting to get on the show for some time. This is Al Wynott. He is the co-founder and CEO of Ingamu. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he's a personal development person. So career advancement, health and wellness coach. Those are all the things that he offers and it's holistic. So, you know, that's why anybody who's listens to the Dr. Digital podcast knows why I've been wanting to get Al on the program. So with that, thank you very much, Al, for joining us today. I hope that you can tell us a little bit about your background and how was it that you got into this fascinating field in the first place? Thanks, Mick, for having me. I really appreciate it. And you're close at Sengumu, so um, it's kind of a funny name because we'll, we can always have conversations around it. But um, it's one of those stories, you know, how did I get, how did I get into this field? And, yeah. you know, I def I'm definitely not doing what I went to school for, um, but I ended up in this field. I've always, for a long time, been looking sort of to make, you know, my goal's always been like, how can I, make a positive difference in the world by helping as many people as possible. Sure. That's a really lofty goal, of course. Yeah, it is. So, and, and I'm sort of one of these people, like I see a puppy, it's like, oh, I want to take it home. I see a homeless person, I want to do something for this person. So I've had sure. this innate thing to help people. And But I've sort of been looking, how do I do that? And I've had, I've been a development director, worked for nonprofits, I've donated, I've served on boards, but oh. just never really sort of, you know, met that need. And um, a couple of um, a couple of weeks ago, I was um, a couple of years ago, sorry, not a couple of weeks ago, I was sitting at, at a coffee shop in Boulder and it sort of came to us because I'm a very strong believer in coaching. I'm not a coach myself. I'm surrounded by lots of lovely coaches and amazing coaches. But it sort of came to me like, hmm, what if we leverage the power of coaching and sure. make coaching accessible, affordable, equitable, et cetera? You mm -hmm. know, so coaching can be available because coaching is in essence, you know, an expensive thing to do for people, but everyone can use a coach or multiple coaches. So I sat in a coffee shop going like, oh, we can do something with this. And so yeah. that's how, how we started building out the, um, the concept for Ingomo, which is, which is an app, it's technology that, um, that brings coaches together with our subscribers or learners, we call them in coaching community. So very strange. Yeah, I've never... You know, it's one of those very strange paths to be here, um, to, to come here um, and end up in this job. Never thought in the beginning of my career that I would end up here. But what I do really um, is, is meeting, you know, that innate um, desire to make a difference to, to mm -hmm. people. So that's that's kind of how, you know, kind of how that how that came together. So um, it's been an, it's been an interesting adventure. Yeah, it's not that surprising that you're not doing what you studied in college. Not all that many people do anyway. So, you know, it's life and that's OK. But could you talk a little bit about the changes that you've seen over the course of your career and what kinds of things that have you experienced? That's that's a that's a good question. And actually, I, I thought about that since we had our first conversation and so I've, I've, my experience is about 35 years or so. And as I think with most people, when you first start out, you know everything. You know, know your boss, your manager, they can never tell you what to do. So, you know, for myself, I'm, I'm thinking that at this particular stage in my life, I go like, I know so little. And so I've, I've, I've learned to open myself up to other people's ideas and advice right. and mentorship and coaching. So that's for me yeah. been a huge change in, in, in my life. Um, but I've also, you know, I've also seen as I, as I look at, you know, um, stuff around me on how, what I find very beautiful is how so much, you know, when I, when I went to school as you, you know, we didn't have iPhones and any of those kind of things, but how mm -hmm. technology now has, made so much accessible, you know, to so many. So that, I think that's a huge change in, you know, and it's something I experienced. We all, we all use YouTube and podcasts to learn things and, and so on. So I think that's beautiful. But for me, really, it's been on a personal level, that growth and being open to, to the, the mentorship and the advice of other people. And it took me a little while to get there, I have to admit. Well, better late than never, they say. Right? So, <laughs> My mom would probably say, finally, you got there. <laughs> got through to the guy. Yes, I can understand. That I can relate to. 
in, in some of these changes that you've seen, whether they're technological or coaching in field or in your own career, are there some areas that you could identify that are growth areas? And is it technological? Is it personal changes in govern in the organization, the governance of companies? What kinds of things have you seen or in terms of growth? So I think when I look at our industry, so we are, it's, it's a very strange thing. So we're a technology company yeah. who brings coaches together, you know, to, with our users. So, right. but when I look, I, I like to look more at the, the world of coaching. Um, that world is really changing quite fast in the big scheme of things. Cause there's this paradigm of, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching, you work one-on-one -on -one with a coach yeah. and that is not, that is not accessible to everyone and attainable for everyone and people need multiple coaches so how do you how do you make that more attainable so that that move into or opening more up of the market into group virtual group coaching or group coaching okay. is just an amazing change so that's one thing the the other thing which is kind of an interesting conversation to have is you know everyone can be a coach but then everyone should be a coach in a big yeah. scheme of things so there's so many people who after some experience they suddenly become a coach they're a life coach they're a business coach and so on mm -hmm. but it's still a little bit the wild west coaching is still sort of the wild west of of this so there needs to be a little bit more i don't want to say regulation but some more guidelines best practices around that okay um, so there's some involvement happening in that and i think you know with technology where i see a lot of changes you see through artificial intelligence, AI, mm. you see the right resources being connected with the okay. right, with the person who needs it versus like, you know, when you look at some technology and you have access to 9,000 coaches, where the hell do you be in? Yeah. You know, who should you go to? Well, yeah. through sharing your needs and, and, and through AI, Okay. You know, that technology develops and so on as well. So there's sort of an interesting, um, it, it makes coaching no longer just for the C-suite, it makes it available and accessible to everyone. Okay. So those are some of the three, you know, big changes I see specifically in the coaching industry. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, you know, how we operate as a business. It's, you know, I've worked from home for quite some time, you know, oh. but through the, pan through the pandemic, how working has changed. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's, it's sort of refreshing to see that you can do things in a different way. And I think that's still going to develop. And I, I don't think we're at the place yet where we've all figured it out, but I think the hybrid form of work and how we, how we can operate companies, that is sort of an interesting um, uh, thing that's come out of that as well. You know, I mean, I'm very fortunate. My team, we're in six or seven different countries wow. and most of the people I work with, I've never met in person. You know, it's all been, you know, it's all been virtual and occasionally we get together, you know, with a smaller group locally. But yeah, it's the technology makes makes this so much easier as well. So that's a big change there too. And I, I'm really, I'm really curious to see how that's going to further develop because sometimes you just have to meet people in person, you know? Sure, sure. It's like I'm a little old fashioned now, really, because I remember those days before there were iPhones and before all the technology. So, you know, that's kind of still a part of me. I always say I can separate myself from it where I can see other people mm -hmm. can't separate themselves from it, where I have no problem putting it aside because it's not what my life revolves around. So when you are helping people, is this business owners? Would these be individuals since you're saying it's group or individual? So like what is a typical client or clients? So what is that process like when you work with people? Well, like I said earlier, everyone needs a coach or can use a coach. And, and we always go, what keeps you up at night? You know, okay. everyone lays away, some, lays away from something. So we work with, if you are an individual user and you want to use the app, you're very welcome to, to use that for okay. what, what your needs are, what keeps you up at night. But we also work with companies, educational institutions, you know, yeah. who deal with student issues, you know, who deal with retention, absenteeism, sure. you know, productivity and all that sort of stuff. But we work, we work really around the issues of life, soul, wellness, and, and work. So, because everybody is dealing with something in that area, um, and, mm. and how do you, how do you as a person show up for school? How do you show up as a person for work? You know, and in many cases, the issues that you're having are not necessarily work related. You know, they they usually personal. 
and your company or your school isn't going to help you with that. So, you know, where do you find those resources? Do you want to wait, you know, three months to get an appointment with, 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 with a coach or therapist or whatever resources they may have available? You know, we make it that, you know, anyone either being an employee or a student or an individual, they, they, they can get the help when they need it, you know, in a life virtual session and it's per, full and it's fully private as well so you can jump in there you know i wouldn't know who mick is unless you say this is who i am and this is where i'm at you know um, it is also very private but it is group so the group uplifts you know the whole it's a community and they're all going through you know a specific you know issue around grief or divorce or something at work leadership whatever so we do all these different these different things though so um, i hope it answers your question on that one it does and it's going to follow up with saying then what kind of expertise do you offer people because it is a holistic approach and it does seem like it's not limited to anything so what kinds of things are typical or somebody who is interested, people who are hearing and listening, what kinds of things would you find are fairly typical or what do you run into? Because you mentioned schools or colleges and things of that nature. So I, a good example with schools. So yeah. students, students, especially, I'm not, I'm not talking high school kids here, I'm talking college, Co college students, higher sure. ed. You know, there's sort of a, a general general issues there. And they're, they're dealing with stress and anxiety because all the things they have to do, they're dealing with financial issues and so on. So, so if, a, if a student were to use it, and it affects their grades, it affects if they show up for class and, and so on. So a student can come in and they go like, okay, great. I can, I can go into a coaching session that deals with anxiety. It deals with you know, how to be mindful, you know, how to focus, you know, there's coaches for that. We have a coach for that. We always like to say, <laughs> um, but if they're dealing with financial issues, like I don't know how to budget, I don't know how to adult, so to speak, as, as the kids say, you know, um, then they can go to a coach and work on something like that. And they'll be, be guided through those processes. Maybe it's somebody, if it's somebody at work and, you know, it could be it could be an issue that relates to work. You know, how do I suddenly got, I'm suddenly being made a VP here? I have no idea how to do this. So I need to get some leadership insights and sales insights. So we have coaches for that. But you know, they can be going through a divorce. They can go through a loss. They can go to some wellness issues, chronic pain, and so on. So it's not therapeutic. So it's it's pure coaching here. It's yeah. not diagnostic, but therapeutic. So what I what we say holistic. This means we have these coaches that all they're all complementary to each other. And so if you today and you have an issue, I always go like today you may have an issue around wellness and you work with that coach. And tomorrow you can come home and you go like, how do I talk to my 16 year old kid? So we have a coach for that too. You know, and if, if suddenly you have a loss in your family, we have we have a grief coach who can work with that. So there's sort of there's there's a coach for every for every um, need that you that you may have. And we also you know, we keep an eye on stuff. If there's issues that crop up that we don't have a coach for, then we'll bring somebody in as well. So, yeah. So you're not limited, I guess, is the is the answer really, because there are as many people as there are, there are as many problems that they run into, and it can be virtually any aspect of their life. Correct. And and so what you what there's if you were to you know hire a coach one on one, you get to work with one coach. Yes. And other and other platforms, excuse me, <coughs> sorry about that. Out there, you can potentially schedule an appointment with a coach for a session. Again, one on one. We say we have dozens of coaches, fifty plus coaches in all these issues around work, life, wellness, and soul. And basically, have at it. Mm -hmm. So, if today you're having an issue, you can go to a session. You know, um, tomorrow there may be different issues. So we the sessions are live, so you can really interact with the coach. So it's not a video, but they are recorded. So if you want to go, I want to go to that session again, or if you missed the session, or you know, with the time difference, you it makes it a little bit harder. You can still participate in the session and watch the video, but then still engage with the coach in the community. You know, um, via via discussions and sessions in there as well. So so we make it really accessible mm -hmm. um, because. Everyone lays awake of something at night. Yep. And then just to clarify that you're really saying that a, a person doesn't have just one coach. In other words, they have a number of issues and they can continue to come back for different types of coaching. Oh. 
Yes, everyone has access to every coach on the platform. So I, we have one of our coaches um, and he, is, <laughs> he always starts the beginning of the session. If there's somebody new here, because they're recorded and there's previous sessions available, he's like, so I invite you to binge watch my sessions, grab a, grab a bucket of popcorn or some ice cream and <laughs> watch all my sessions, <laughs> so to speak. So it's just a great thing for, for the learners to Kind of, and if they want a refresher, they can go look at it and say, like, yeah, that was a great session. I want to see that again. Or that was a great exercise or something like that. So I want to see that again. So we make that accessible like that. So. Gotcha. Understood. So there's a, a number of things that, that really are offered. So I was curious then, as people are listening, and who doesn't have a problem and who doesn't need a coach, how would you suggest that they get a hold of you? because you do offer this really vast and holistic type of approach that really includes just about everybody depending on their needs. So how do they get a hold of you? What would they do? The best and the easiest way is to go to our website. It's in gomu.com and I think it's on my name here. So it's I N G O M U.com. It so is. go, go learn everything there. You can even download the app there. Um, you can contact me to the contact form as well. I invite you to do that. Or you can um, connect with me through LinkedIn as well. And it's my name, followed by 9700. Um, so that's my LinkedIn profile name, I guess they call it. <laughs> so you're welcome to connect with me there as well. So if you have questions, you know, want to connect, chat, feel free to do that. I always welcome that. Outstanding. Well, thank you for taking some time, Al. This has been fantastic. It is really a service. So whatever you learned in college and over life, you have really addressed the issues that people need help and you're out there. So I appreciate you taking some time and chatting today. Thanks, Mick, for inviting me. It was, it was it's my pleasure. Glad to, um, and, th and thank you for allowing me to share this today. You bet. So thanks again, Al. And this is another episode of the Doctor of Digital podcast. Hopefully you've listened and learned a lot. And say the next time, we've got some more guests and more things, good information for you. Until next time, this is the Doctor of Digital signing off. Deus Bowl.